Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, Dylan here. Well, you will not believe what just happened with Mitch McConnell, okay? A massive bombshell just came out. We have breaking news with Mitch McConnell that I will be sharing with you guys today. Donald J. Trump just exposed the truth about Mitch McConnell and, quite frankly, Mitch McConnell just exposed the truth about himself as well, okay? Uh, many senators and many other Republican leaders are officially calling him for, to get the heck out. And also, we're uh, exposing the truth with other career politicians that are kind of similar to Mitch, in my opinion, like Chuck Schumer, like Nancy Pelosi, and even Joe Biden. And I'll tell you later in the video how there are actually a lot of similarity, similarities between these people and between these people and why a lot of stuff just never really gets done in the government uh, and why there's a lot of money involved, okay? So before we do dive in, we're going to read the Bible and pray because God comes first, amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that God comes first. We're going to read a Bible reading that you've probably heard before, but it is one of my favorites because it's so, so powerful and fitting for what's going on right now, all right? This comes from the book of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table in the you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Comment amen down below. How beautiful is this? He uh the the, the word of God, it's talking about how even though we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, we do not need to fear no evil. I love how much it says in the Bible, do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. God is with us, my friends. So you do not need to be afraid. Whatever you're dealing with right now, today, don't be afraid. It says that in the Bible. For God is with you guys. Remember that, okay? Now, let's dive in, guys. All right, so just to catch everybody up to speed with who Mitch McConnell is and what the, in my opinion, the badness about him. So he is uh, born in 1942, which means what? He's around 83 years old. Sorry, 82 years old. Um, he's been working in politics since the eight, since he's been working in the Senate since... 85 right so he's coming up on his 40th year anniversary and you know he's quite frankly just one of these guys who's been working in politics for so long and it's you know many people are asking him hey why don't you leave why don't you leave well you know who somebody else who is similar to mitch mcconnell is chuck schumer all right He's been working in politics since 1975, right? He's coming up on his 50th year anniversary. Nancy Pelosi, she hasn't been working since the 80s or the 70s, guys. She's been working in politics for the Democrats since the 1960s, all right? For over 60 years, this woman, I mean, she spent, you know, almost her entire life at this point, given her age, almost her entire life working in politics. And you know, she's never made over what? What is Nancy Pelosi salary? Her salary, she makes around 200 grand a year, but what is her net worth? Have you guys ever looked up what Nancy Pelosi's net worth is? It's estimated to be over $250 million. So how does she make all her money guys? How does Nancy Pelosi make all her money? By working in politics and doing backdoor uh, insider trading. And not only that, but Joe Biden too, guys. Joe Biden's been working in the politics since the 1970s, right? For over 50 years. So Mitch McConnell, after he had his freezing incidents, well, let's just watch his freezing incidents so we are all on the same page of what happened with him. Um, 
this is this is him. My, Mitch McConnell appears to freeze during press conference, and his name actually got brought up during, or he actually did. I believe he went to the RNC and he got Benji. booed. He got booed. So we're gonna take a look at that in a second. But look at this. This is why people are asking. Not only given how long he served, but take a look at him. This guy's running our country. After finishing the NDA uh, this week, it's been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, uh... Look at these other dudes. They're like, what the heck is going on? They look like they're at a funeral. They're like... <laughs> like it's like awkward you don't know what to say like this guy's a leader in our senate this was our senate majority leader like one of the main leaders in our government guys you have the house the senate and the white house mitch mcconnell was the republican leader in the senate this guy's in charge of making major decisions in our country and then we had Nancy Pelosi, who she's been working in politics since the 60s. Chuck Schumer is our current guy who's leading the Senate. And he's been working since, what, the 70s too? He's coming up on his 50th year anniversary. Why are these people, and same with Joe Biden. It's like, why are all these people running our government who's, who are career politicians? That's why Trump actually came in and shook things up. Because he was like, look. These, we need to, he's like, I'm tired of our country getting ripped off. Okay, Mitch. Anything else you want to say? Or should we just go back to your house? Do you want to say anything else to the press? Okay. And this guy came in like a hero, and he's treating Mitch like he's, you know, going back to the old folks' home. This is, this is our government, guys. This is a joke. Our taxpayer dollars are paying this man's salary. So this, dude, it's like take him to the medical room, bro. Like, don't you don't need to continue with this. He just had a freezing episode, and that wasn't the only one. This was another time he froze. He's having multiple freezing episodes. It's not just once, guys. Is there a year for election in three short years? What are your thoughts on it? I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. That's okay. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election. Oh. They literally ask him what his thoughts are in running for re-election, and he can't answer it. That should answer the question. question Senator, running for re-election in 2026. All right, I'm sorry, you all are going to need a minute. There is no world in which anybody can say, yes, I want that man to be one of the top leaders in our country. Who, who's gonna who's gonna back Mitch McConnell right now? This is a disgrace to our country. Absolute disgrace. Your taxpayer dollars are going to pay this man and his assistant or whoever these people are. I don't know who that woman is. I'm just guessing, but I'm, I'm sure he has people working for him. You know, he, he has assistants, people who grab him coffee, do this, do that. Secretaries. I mean, these are. This is a guy who's leader. He's a, isn't he currently? The Senate Minority Leader? Like, he is, right? He's the Senate Minority Leader. Is that correct? Yeah, he ha he is currently the Senate Minority Leader, guys. He is actually a leader. Look at that. <laughs> this guy's actually a leader. He's probably, like, not, not like by characteristic, but like literally by definition, his, his job title. I mean, this guy must be making absolute tons of money right what's his salary mitch mcconnell's salary we need to keep these people in check guys he makes 200 grand a year 193 grand a year so whatever your job is you know have you ever made almost 200 grand a year your assets 35 million dollars it's like i don't know but the, you're paying for this guy's salary Okay. Sorry, 
Anybody else have a question? Please speak up. <laughs> it's like take him to the back room, bro. Um, what? Change his diaper, all right? You don't need, you don't have anybody else ask any more questions. Um, and then look at this. Mitch McConnell came out and spoke. No, I will not step down after free up. Watch this, guys. He didn't tell us what it might have been. Do you know what it was? Here comes the McConnell. And he's laughing at it like it's a big old joke. This guy in the back. I forget his name, but he's kind of a boss. He's like, he. I feel like he's kind of fed up with this, too. He's like, I mean... Hey, Mitch McConnell, you were literally freezing, you know, you can't answer questions, simple questions. Are you running for re-election? Uh, reminds me of Joe Biden. It's kind of funny, Joe Biden actually, you know, he had enough pressure around him where he actually decided to not run again. But Joe Biden should also resign. I mean, come on, come on. These are the people running our government. Joe Biden, Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. The only leader right now who's young is Mike Johnson. And I think Mike Johnson's doing a good job, but at the same time, you know, he didn't stand up for the border, so it's like, I don't know. All these evaluations, what have doctors said is the precise medical reason for those two freeze-ups? What Dr. Monahan's report addressed was concerns people might have that some things that happened to me did happen, but they didn't. And they said, really, I have nothing to add to that. I think you pretty well covered the subject. This is the worst response ever. He's literally gaslighting the public. Well, yeah, I guess some people had concerns about it. It's like, no duh, dude. Everybody has concerns. And they want you to step down. He goes, He's like, <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't see that doctor report? I mean, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, what, do you, what do you say to those who are calling on you to step down? Do you have any plans to retire anytime soon? <laughs> I have no announcements to make on that subject. He's literally laughing. He's laughing in our faces. This man's sick. I'm going to finish my term as leader, and I'm going to finish my Senate term. Thank you. He's going to finish his term as leader. He finished his Senate term. And it goes, I believe, I believe, I believe, my friends, till 2026. So we got three, uh, two more years of this, Bozo. Two more years. Uh, I wanted to play this. This was um, at the RNC, Republican National Convention, just uh, a couple weeks ago. Let's tune in, guys. Mitch McConnell making an appearance. The call for this convention, rules 26 through 42, shall be the temporary rules of the convention. Vicki Drummond, Secretary of the Republican National Committee, has presented to the chair the temporary role of delegates and alternates to the convention. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the convention to elect its temporary chairman. Pursuant to the authority granted to me by the Republican National Committee, I nominate as the temporary chairman of the convention the Honorable Henry McMaster, Governor of South Carolina. The Honorable Brenna Byrd, Attorney General of Iowa. And the Honorable Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, Senate Republican Leader. The whole crowd booed him. And by the way, he's not honorable at all. You can call him dishonorable if you'd like. All those in favor of electing Governor McMaster, Attorney General Byrd, and Leader McConnell as the temporary chairman, signify by saying aye. All those opposed, signify by saying no. Wow, people actually said no. I don't think if you have any no's, I don't think you're allowed. To, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. Mitch McConnell needs to go, boo. McConnell's time is done. He needs to step aside so a younger, tougher, and more focused candidate can arise. Yeah, exactly. It's like, by the way, if we retake the, the house, my friends, right now, we need, we like, Mitch McConnell is not the person I'm talking about for 2024 or in November. It's like, because if we have Mike Johnson in the house, that's good. Trump in the White House, that's good. But Mitch McConnell in the Senate, come on, we need somebody better so they can actually get stuff done. Not when, hey, what's going on up here? What's going on up here? 
Yeah, I don't. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, even uh, Chuck Schumer stole the podium from McConnell. Do you guys see this? And for our viewers here with us, it does look like first to step up to the podium is the. Uh, minority leader Mitch McConnell so he is going to be stepping up to the podium not only talking about infrastructure let's also listen and just Chuck Schumer just stole the podium from him if he has oh that looks like a sneaky move made by Chuck Schumer zipping in there ahead of him they're all laughing they all pick on Mitch McConnell even Chuck Schumer <laughs> I mean I kind of respect Chuck Schumer for that but like that's the only time I, I think I've ever seen some I've ever seen Chuck Schubert do something that I like is totally steal the podium from McConnell because that's probably something I would do. <laughs> so but don't get it twisted. I hate Chuck Schumer. I actually hate him. Um, now I wanted to take a look at to what Donald John Trump has has said about Chuck Schumer. Donald Trump released a actually a pretty gnarly message about Chuck Schumer. Uh, sorry, about Mitch McConnell. I'm getting those two mixed up because they're both old and they're both career pol. They both working in politics for 50 years. I'm getting them mixed up. Mitch McConnell. Donald Trump really revealed the truth and slammed Mitch McConnell. You guys ready for this? Donald Trump said this. Mitch McConnell is killing the Republican Party through weakness and cowardice. He obviously has a political death with for himself and Republican Party. But President Trump and the America First champions in Congress will save the Republican Party and our nation. Trump has frequently lambasted McConnell with the attacks intensifying after the Senate Republican leader rebuked Trump, more recent attacks have included derogatory comments about McConnell's wife, Elan Chow, who served as Transportation Secretary during the Trump administration. Who is this chick? Elaine Chow. Who's this woman? This is McConnell's wife? She seems a lot younger. McConnell's like a sugar daddy or something. Seems weird. Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell was hospitalized. Did you guys know that? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell was hospitalized? When? I think I remember this. Oh, he got a concussion? Guys, this guy is, I mean. Oh yeah, Mitch McConnell is doing well. And eager to leave the hospital, advisor says. The Senate Republican leader was treated for a concussion. He fell! I'm sorry, guys, but it's like... People this... this, I mean, uh, some people um, deal with age differently. Mitch McConnell is not somebody who deals with age well. He's having freeze-ups. He's falling over. It's like the same thing with Joe Biden. Um, he, he stayed there for over two days. It's just... It's... Uh, you know, it's sad. Here's uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene revealing the truth about Mitch McConnell. All right, let's see. How do you feel about minority leader Mitch McConnell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. Um, I think Mitch McConnell should retire. <laughs> She, she gets an applause when she asks, when she says Mitch McConnell should retire. I'm, I'm not really a fan. I think he works across the aisle and he allows things to happen. One of the things that I'm most angry about is he made that infrastructure bill possible. And that is all of his fault because he led 19 senators to pass it. Yeah, I should also, you know, expand on my commentary that it's not just that he's too old and he's having, having freeze-ups. He's a, he also works with Democrats on a lot of these bills, too. He bows down to Democrats. So he's not a good person to have as a Republican leader anyway, because he does, he's, a, he's basically a rhino, meaning he works with Democrats. He's a career politician. He's essentially like a bureaucrat at this point where he's just like, oh, I'm going to work with Democrats on this to get this bill done just so we can get it done. It's like 
No, we need someone like Trump who's like, either we close down the border, we build a wall, or we shut the government down. We need someone like Trump in there, not Mitch McConnell who goes, hey, the border, hey, yeah, you're going to put one more person at the border? All right, sounds good. $80 billion to Ukraine? All right, sounds good. Like, Mitch McConnell sucks. And then that gave the green line to, unfortunately, 13 unlucky members of the House that I work with, Republicans that voted for that bill, too. And so shame on Mitch McConnell. He needs to act like a Republican. Shame on Mitch McConnell. Couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Mitch McConnell actually talked about Donald Trump recently. Let's tune in. You think Donald Trump can win? I do. Are you going to support him? I know. Does it cause you pause when you think about how divided this country is and how he is causing such division? I mean, Republicans in your party are burning their voter registration cards. They're saying never Trump. Well, one thing I'm, I'm pretty calm about is that this is nowhere near the most divisive period in American history. But what protects us in this country against big mistakes being made is the structure, the Constitution. So he actually kind of is a Trump supporter. Interesting. The institutions. Um, so, no matter how unusual a personality may be who gets elected to office, there are constraints in this country. You don't get to do anything you want to. So I'm very optimistic about America. I'm not depressed about the nature of the debate. Well, I'm depressed. I'm, I'm depressed knowing that you're running our country. Uh, here's McConnell. This was actually um, a, a very recent thing that he came out and said. He gave details about his meeting with Trump. Let's tune in, guys. I want, I'm curious to see what Trump had to say about him into his face. Did you talk to him directly? Yeah, well, we shook hands a few times. He took questions from the audience, and it was an entirely positive session. What was his message? Dude can barely talk. I feel bad for the man. By the way, this interview was eight years ago. You probably, oh, Mitch McConnell can speak so well. Yeah, that was an eight year old interview where he talked about Trump. Ignore. I, I'm digging up old clips here, but. You know, it's actually um, good to, to hear old clips because it kind of paints the whole picture. A lot, of, a lot of my haters on my show say, Dylan, that's old news, that's old news. It's like, if you guys are new to my show, or if you guys actually watch my show, I bring up new stuff and then I pair it with old stuff so we can get the whole picture, all right? It, these things, you got to look back on, on older clips to see what people have actually said. That's how it works, guys. That's how we get more informed. Uh, let's tune in. Here's Trump talking about Mitch McConnell at a rally. Ignoring him will not make it go away. If former President Donald Trump's rally in Iowa last night proves anything, it's that his toxic dishonesty and his potent base remain a major force in American politics in a warped way, sustaining one another. CNN sucks. CNN sucks so bad. Now, so we're using the same slogan, make America great again. And we may even- Trump teases new slogan, make America great again, again. <laughs> you gotta love Donald John Trump. This is uh, Mitch McConnell actually taking a swipe at Trump. Tune into this. So he, uh, for, on one hand, he's a Trump supporter. On another hand, he's a Trump hater. Let's tune in. Well, are you comfortable with your party's leading presidential candidate referring to legal immigrants and people who are poisoning the blood of our country? Well, it strikes me that it didn't bother him when he appointed Elaine Chow Secretary of Transportation. This dude is sick. Oh, well, he appointed my wife as Secretary of Transportation. So he's trying to say that um, the immigrant, because Trump said these illegal alien i mean is is he saying that his wife is an illegal alien because trump said oh these illegals are poisoning the blood of our country mitch mcconnell goes oh well he didn't realize that when he appointed my wife who's asian i don't know i don't understand mitch mcconnell's logic because i don't think his wife is illegal i think trump was talking about illegals now here's uh, josh hawley slamming mitch mcconnell let's tune in guys in my home state of missouri i was asked everywhere I went about Senator McConnell before the most recent incident and then absolutely afterwards. And I mean everywhere I went, the Missouri State Fair, 
farmers meetings, business meetings. So uh, my view is that 2024 is an awfully important election for Republicans. We should have taken back the Senate last year. We didn't. This is our shot to take it back, and I just hope we're going to be focused on that. Do you worry that he's not the right person to bring you guys back to the majority? Oh, absolutely. That's why I voted against him in December. So, yeah, listen, I, I voted against him as leader. It's not my choice for leader. and hasn't been, and that hasn't changed. Whoa! So he really went after Mitch McConnell. Now, Ted Cruz calls for McConnell to step down. Let's tune in, guys. Mitch McConnell to go. I think it is. Everyone here also supported a leadership challenge to Mitch McConnell in November. Uh, I think a Republican leader should actually lead this conference and should advance the priorities of Republicans. Senator Ted Cruz had a press conference around noon today, said that you shouldn't have even tried to negotiate with Democrats, said this bill was designed to fail, and that it's time for you to step down as GOP leader. What's your response to that? I think we can all agree that Senator Cruz is not a fan. Why is he smiling? This guy sucks. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Mitch McConnell, I think you gotta go. We'll talk to you soon, guys.